What's up guys, Miles here. Welcome to today's video. I can see you're all excited because today I'm gonna to explain exactly what to do when dealing with a product that is running out of stock. Now I guarantee you that this is a problem you're gonna have at some stage, especially if your product is successful. So on the one hand, it's a good thing. It means that all the hard work and the effort that you've done into your product research, your listing optimization, launching your product, getting that all going, that means that has worked successfully and everything is moving. So congratulations on a job well done. But on the other hand, going out of stock sucks because every day you're losing valuable profits and those keyword rankings that you worked so hard to get. So now that you've recognized that you're gonna run out of stock, what do you do next? So I'm gonna run you through the five step process that I use in my business when I'm dealing with products that go out of stock. And again, these do happen to everybody. So I encourage you to take notes, save this video for later, refer back to it when you need to, so that you can implement these strategies as soon as you identify that you have a product that's gonna run out of stock. So let's start with number one, which is to increase your price. So you do this as soon as you've identified that you're going to run out of stock, but before you have run out of stock. And increase your price slowly. So a dollar, maybe $2 at first. And as you're doing this, pay attention to your sales velocity and your conversion rate. You don't want them to drop too much because that will affect your keyword rankings. But you have three goals here. A, you wanna test the pricing of your product. So some products, not all, but some products actually start to perform better as you increase the price. It really depends on what it is. And you're not gonna know until you try it yourself. And this is a perfect opportunity to do that because as we know, you're running out of stock anyway. B, you wanna generate more profit. So a few dollars increase in price will or can drastically increase your profit margin. And profit is the whole reason why we're doing this. And C, you wanna slow your sales velocity down a little bit because that may buy you enough time, a few days, maybe a week, to delay that inventory until your next shipment arrives. And if so, then you can prevent this entire problem from happening. So increase the price by a little bit, monitor it, check how it goes, particularly with your conversion rate, your sales velocity, and also your keyword rankings, and those three things are all related. Again, you don't wanna rock the boat too much. You don't want to drastically reduce your conversion rate, drastically reduce your sales velocity, but you do wanna try and optimize those three goals that I just mentioned. And this is gonna do one more thing, which is a great hidden bonus, and that's that you're gonna pull all of these profits forwards to today. So rather than having to wait for the next shipment to make that money, you're making it now. And if you're gonna be out of stock for a few weeks, a month, maybe even more, this is super valuable because it gives you the cash now and you can reinvest them today rather than in the future. So that could mean ordering more units of this same product so that you can prevent this problem from happening, or it could mean going into a second product or another product. For example, one of my first products, I really mistimed this and I was gonna be out of stock for more than a month. It was closer to two months. I was actually able to increase the price a long way above where I thought it would be without drastically reducing the sales. And as a result, I think I generated, it was around $5,000 in extra profit just from that first order in additional profit. And so that money allowed me to launch an entire new product. So guys, it can be very, very powerful. You just need to test and see where the market lies. See where the customers will still buy your product at that higher price. Number two, turn off PPC. So because in this case, you're going to run out of inventory in any case, any dollars that you spend on advertising or PPC are essentially unnecessary spend and they're just coming out of your profit margin. Of course, if your product is just in the early stages, you're probably relying on the PPC to actually identify relevant keywords. If that's the case, or if your ACOS is quite low, say 15% or under, you can leave it on, but I would adjust the budgets down and also adjust your bids down as well so that you're really only spending money on the most efficient keywords. However, with that being said, I normally just turn it off completely and save the money. So number three, close the listing. So we're gonna do that after the last unit has been sold. So this is immediately after we've run out of stock and not beforehand. The reason why we're gonna do that is because Amazon's algorithm will see, if you leave the listing open, it'll see it as zero sales per day or just a really low sales velocity. And so when you have your next shipment arriving again, Amazon's got this long sales history of you know, really poor sales. And so that then will drop your keyword rankings down. So we wanna take out that whole period of zero sales per day so that Amazon just sees what you were selling up until you stocked out and then nothing. And then what you're selling when you're back in stock. We've actually just started doing this because it's only based on anecdotal evidence. There's no official data from Amazon that shows that this works, but there's no cost to doing it and it's super easy. So let's do it. So to do this, it's very simple. We just go to the inventory, manage inventory page. We select the listing that we want and we can go here and close listing. And just to clarify, we're not deleting the SKU or deleting the ASIN or making any sort of permanent change to your listing. All you're doing is temporarily shutting it down and deactivating it. 
Now, when your new shipment arrives back in Amazon, Amazon's not gonna automatically reactivate your listing for you. So you're gonna have to go back into Seller Central and do that manually. So all we have to do is click this relist button here. So that'll take us to the Amazon detail page for the listing that we wanna activate. And then all we have to do is go and click save and finish without changing anything. This message will pop up and give it around 15 minutes to half an hour and it should be updated and activated. Number four, PPC and giveaway. So this is immediately after your shipment has come back in, you've got new stock and you've opened the listing up. First of all, go back into your PPC campaigns and switch them back on. Or if you lowered bids, put them back up to the way that they were. Now, if you've been out of stock for a week or less, only a few days, you should notice that your keyword rankings bounce straight back up. And if that's the case, you don't need to do anything further, you're good to go. But if you've been out of stock for a few weeks or a month or even longer, your keyword rankings will have suffered during that period of time. It's gonna take Amazon some length of time to recognize again that your product is worth showing. So what you need to do is treat this almost like a new product launch, but because you have this existing sales history, you can do it on a smaller scale. So I would recommend doing a seven to day giveaway, do everything as you would doing normal product launch, targeting your primary keywords. But again, with that existing sales history, you're gonna need less units. At the same time, go into your PPC, increase your budget, pick your converting keywords and increase the bids on them by 20 to 50%. Again, we're just trying to give Amazon as much data as possible in a really short period of time to prove to it that your listing is worth being at the top. So monitor the results over the next two weeks. And if you've done this correctly, you should see those keyword rankings come straight back up. Number five, preventing the problem. So with the last four steps, we've dealt with the issue of the stock out, we've made some additional profit, and then we've got our product back up to exactly where it was before. But what do we need to do to prevent this from happening again? So the solution is inventory forecasting. There are a few ways of doing this. The most basic way is just yourself with Excel, so basically you're gonna take the number of units that you have currently in your inventory and you're gonna divide that by the sales per day. And that's gonna give you the number of days you have in inventory remaining. We'll call that days in inventory. Then calculate your product's lead time, which is the days taken to manufacture the, the product plus the days taken to ship the product. So we're gonna call that lead time. Finally, just make sure that your days in inventory is greater than your lead time. If those numbers start to get close to each other, then it's time to reorder. If your days in inventory is less than your lead time, then you're gonna run out of stock and you need to start this process again from step one. You can also calculate this using third-party software, but if you're just starting, you probably only have a few products. Honestly, guys, the most simple way to do this is through Amazon's Manage Inventory page. So I'm gonna hop in and I'll show you that. So to do this through Amazon, go to Inventory, Inventory Planning, and then Restock Inventory. And this will just give you a really simple overview of all of your products, the sales in the last 30 days, which is the sales velocity, and then the days of the supply, which is how many days you have remaining. Now, to make this automatically tell you when you need to reorder, just set this, the lead time to be whatever it should be. Click save, and then you'll be able to see not just the order quantity, but also the order date. Okay guys, I hope that helped. That's the five step process that I use in my business to try and minimize the effects of stockouts and to try and prevent them as well, wherever possible. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every week uh, from my perspective as a seven-figure Amazon seller. And then please also click the notification bell so that you can be notified when I put out those videos. All right, guys, that's all from me. See you in the next video.